It's Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. Today we're going to do a tutorial, the start of the first tutorial in the series. Um, we're drawing out this cute little house here, little beach house. Nice, really small one, kind of cool. And this is the floor layout. We're going to draw the floor layout. So this is the first video that will help you walk through designing this, this house in its entirety. Um, we'll start off by putting the walls and eventually we'll, and then we'll put the cutouts for the doors and the windows or the glazing as they refer to it in the architectural industry. We'll learn how to bring in furniture. You can either design your own or bring furniture in. And we'll learn how to do the WC, the water closet, which is WC is anytime you see it on a drawing, is, that means washroom. They call it WC. Um, so we're, let's get started. Uh, so this is again, the front view of the house. We're going to use AutoCAD. Um, in this one, in this case, I'm using AutoCAD 2018. Uh, you may be on a different version or you may be on the web version. Uh, AutoCAD's nice, it's free to students for as long as you're in school. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to show you how to start a new file. So you can either go like this, you can either click start new drawing here, or you can come up here and new drawing here. So I'm going to start a new drawing. And when it comes up, you'll see it's in decimal down here. And we're going to be using, we're, we're drawing feet and inches, not decimals. Uh, decimals would be used for if you're designing something like a piece of equipment machine or something like that where you need the accuracy. Uh, so we're going to click on this, the A button, Drawing Utilities and Units. And when we go in there, we're going to select Architectural, which would be feet and inches. So I've chosen to do feet and inches because I spoke to a lot of different people and primarily the industry runs in that so you may be required down the road in, in doing it in metric uh, my background is mostly metric because I come from an engineering background and where we use metric entirely um, nevertheless so we're gonna start we're gonna use feet and inches so before we get started I'm just gonna do a real quick little drawing right here just to show you how so I'm gonna hit the escape key just to show you how we can navigate this this so scrolling in and out is with your middle mouse button. If you hold your middle mouse button down, you can pan around. So you can zoom into something and then you can pan around to get more clarity on it. So that's how you move that around. Middle mouse button down, pan, scroll in and out. There's also, um, if you go through the toolbar, there are ways to do it up there as well, but I just use the quick keys like this. If you hold your shift key down and your middle mouse button down, you can see it rotates. And you can see there you're in a three-dimensional world, X, Y, and Z. Mr. Rene Descartes, thank you for that. And if that happens to you, if you move your model and you go, we're not going to be working in a three-dimensional world, we're gonna be working in a two-dimensional world. We're gonna look from the top view down only. Um, later on the semester, we'll be working 3D, but right now we're just gonna work 2D. So if this happens to you and your model gets kind of moved around like that, all you have to do is hit the home key and go to the top view and it brings it back. And if you wanna play around a little bit with this, you can see how this works. You can see all the different things this does. Back to your home back to this and this is your so now I want to delete that I'm just going to window the whole thing in hit the delete key or you can delete like this too you can go like that delete delete oops delete try it again delete enter okay so before we get started too far I want to show you what my really good student Ralph didn't do Ralph worked for two days. Uh, two, I used to teach a double period class, and Ralph worked for two periods fully. And at the end of the period, he didn't. His computer crashed, and he didn't save it. And he had tons of work done. He was devastated. Happened to me hundreds and hundreds of times. AutoCAD, you can click on it up here somewhere. I don't do it to auto save. You can create it so that it auto saves every few seconds. But the, I don't like doing that because you can't revert back. So I've never. I've always turned the auto save feature off. And what that means is as you're working, hit the save button as often as possible. Every time you're comfortable, oh, you know, better save it. So if the computer dies, your battery dies, whatever the case may be, you still have your work. The other thing is we want to save it. So we're going to go, you know how these icons work, but we're going to go like this, file, save as, and you'll notice it saves it in, in documents. Okay, so you have on your school computer, your own My Documents, save your files someplace on your your computer that you know where they are. And I would recommend just in the documents. The other thing you'll notice here is AutoCAD automatically, name, typically it's auto, drawing one. AutoCAD automatically names the file for you. Uh, never leave it like that because you can accidentally overwrite a file. So today you're drawing, you use drawing one, 
you save it tomorrow you come in you draw a little bit of something else in completely different design you click on save drawing one save as and it overwrites it and ruins it so what you want to do same with word or excel or any of these things you want to automatically you want to always change your name you change the name so what i would recommend this one maybe floor floor plan floor plan uh rev rev one and then tomorrow maybe floor plan rev two and rev three and you can always revert back that's the nice thing so if i save it today as floor plan rev one and then tomorrow i save it as floor plan rev two i make a bunch of changes i, the, I something happens to the model i don't like it yesterday was better so i can always revert back it makes it very easy that way okay so floor plan rev one we'll save that so now it's late saving as floor plan rev one you can see that right there and every time i click the save button it'll save it okay so We've covered pan, tilt, and zoom, we've, and, and, and so on, uh, and saving the files. Now, I want to show you how we can start drawing. Uh, I think I've covered everything there. So, so what I want to do now is let's draw the outside of the book. Now, I don't know if you know the alt-tab trick. Big fan. I'm going to get rid of that, sorry. And the alt-tab trick is this. So I can go between that and that alt-tab. See that? Alt-tab. So right now, if you look, it's 24. We're going to draw the outside of, the, of this building here. It's 24 feet by 20 feet. And again, we're, it's 20 feet, zero inches. You notice the little foot line here, this little line here, that means feet, and this means inches. Very important because in AutoCAD, you have to write it like that, feet and inches. So let's go back here, click the line tool, and we can click anywhere. I like to be close to the WCS right here. And if you head up this way, AutoCAD, notice it keeps it straight. If I move it like that, that's not on a straight line and I move it like this it's not on a straight line you know as soon as that green line comes up it knows you're making a straight line and what you want to do alt tab you'll see it's 20 feet we're going so straight line up and now you type in 20 and right beside the enter key of mine is that 20 feet it's really important you put that little guy in there if it doesn't it won't be 20 feet you hit the enter so now you hit the escape key scroll out and we'll just double check before we get going too far to make sure measure tool click here click here you can see and it's indeed 20 feet 90 degrees perfect so we can get started um i'm going to back up a little bit my apologies one of the things i've neglected to tell you about uh layers so the layers are basically the way AutoCAD works. If you looked at a, a really complicated architectural drawing, there is dozens and dozens of different items on there. And, it, and the drawing can be quite confusing. You've got plumbing and electrical, you've got roofing materials, you've got wall materials, glazing, and so on, in some cases, furniture. So what you can do with layers is you can, you can put everything on a different layer so that you can turn layers off and on so you can make your draw, drawing much simpler when you're working on it. So right now I wanna click on layers. I don't work on the on this layer here. This layer is going to be used later on for blocks. So we're going to create a new layer right here. Create new layer, and we'll call it um, lay of uh, about uh, layout or outer walls. Outer walls. How about that? That's better. Outer walls. Outer walls. And now what we want to do is we want to double click this and make this this it's do write in here whatever you feel like writing and as as long as you know what it is now this layer is active i'm not drawing in this previous layer the better the best way to think of this is there's a bunch of pieces of clear plastic all laying on top of each other and right now i'm drawing on the second layer up not on the first layer down at the bottom so i'm going to change the color let's change the color um do you want to work in white whatever color you like i'm going to work in you know what i'm going to leave it white I'm going to leave the outer, outer walls white, but you can change anything. So you could change it to yellow or green or blue or red or whatever you choose. And then everything you do on this layer will be that color. You can change the line types in here as well. And the line weights, meaning the thicknesses, typically the outer walls would be slightly thicker. And you can put in a little brief description over here what this is as well. So you can do a nice job in here organizing it. You can also turn layers off and on later on by doing this so if i'm working on say i got electrical and plumbing and all that i can just click the light bulb so that they all shut off so i can only see the one i can also freeze the layers so that they're still visible but i can't make changes to them so i can't accidentally delete a plumbing pipe or something while i'm working on the 
So that's how that works. That's your layers. And you can exit out of the layers. We're currently working on layer two. Right here, you can see layer one, we're going to save later for blocks. And I'll, we'll get into blocks a little bit later. So now we click the line tool. Click anywhere here and start walking up. So it knows I want to go up 20 feet, enter. And now I want to come over this way, 24, again, feet. Make sure you click that little feet down. And now you'll see I can come down like this. And if I want this line here to be the same length as this line, I just touch that. I can walk across here. And now AutoCAD knows I want to make another 20 foot line. So I don't need to dimension. And then I can come back here and done. Right? Now, before I go too much further, let's measure it one more time to make sure we're working right. Yes, it's 20 feet. Okay, good. So now I want to, the walls are, this is the outer wall. And if you look at the drawing, you'll see the outer, there's a thickness to a wall here. We're going to do the outer outer wall. And they're roughly six inches thick. And depending on your drawing, some may be different. You know, it depends if it's a block house or so on. Um, my house is concrete, so it's quite a bit thicker. So now what we're going to use, we're going to use the offset. So you click offset. And right in here, we're going to go six. And now you have to hold the shift key down. And you have to put that right there, which means inches. It's on the same key. It's above. So feet in the bottom, inches on the top. Enter. It's quotation marks. But So now I've got it says six inches. So all you do is you come down here and you click this and you click there. You click this and you click there. You click this and you click there. And you click this and you click there. So now I've thickened up my walls to six inches. And if we wanted to, we could come down here and measure it. And you'll see it's six inches. Okay. Now I need to delete these little guys here. I don't need them. So how do we do that? We're just going to go like this. Click the trim tool. There's two different trim tools, trim extend and trim. We're going to click trim tool. We're going to come here. We're going to click this guy, click this guy. Any glasses, click this guy, click this guy. And we're going to hit enter. And now you come down here and you can delete that, trim that, trim, 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 whoop, shiny trim and trim and trim. So now I have hit the escape key. I've got my outer walls. So now what I want to do is I want to cut the door here. So we're going to cut an opening for the door. So I'm going to click the line tool and I have midpoint selected. So if you see that it jumps right to the center. If yours doesn't do that right here, if it's not jumping on that center, you can come down here and where is it here? I think it's this guy. Yeah, here. It may not be grabbing the center. Maybe this is unselected. So if with that unselected, it won't grab the center. So I'll click this little guy, make sure it's selected to midpoint. And now what I do is I'm going to come line tool. I'm going to grab the midpoint and I'm just going to do what they call construction line. We're not going to actually use this line. We're going to delete it afterwards. It's just where do we start from? I'm cutting the door. I'm cutting the opening for the door. So the opening for the door is three foot, four inches. I'll explain why it's a three foot door, but we need three foot four because later on we're going to put the swing of the door in. We're going to put the door jams in. We're going to get nice that way. So it's three foot four. So what I need to do is I need to copy. I need to click on the offset tool and I need to offset this line, this direction, half of three foot four. So half of three foot four, half of three feet is one and a half feet. So one foot six inches and half of four feet is two inches. So we need to move it one foot eight inches. Okay, three foot four divided by two is one foot eight inches. All right, so one foot eight inches. See that? Enter. Click on this guy here. Bang, done, and there, done. So that's the opening for my door. And if you measure it, you'll see it's click here, click here, three foot four, perfect. Now, I'm going to cut that out. So I don't need these lines up top and I don't need this line. And I don't need this line. I want a full opening. So all we do, click the trim tool and select this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, and hit the enter key. And now we can go in and we can start deleting stuff. I don't need him. Boom. I don't need him. Don't need him. Don't need him. 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 Or him. And I can also, I can't delete that because I can't trim it. So I have to just delete that. So there I have my opening. And later on, we're going to come in and we're going to put a nice swing door swing in there. We're going to put the door jams and a swing. Now, the next thing we'll finish up with on this video is I want to cut out the window. Again, 
I, I call it window, but it's referred to as glazing in the industry. So I'm gonna, we're going to put glazing in here. I'm going to take some liberties here and guess. If you look at it right here, there's no dimension for the window, but I can see that this is three feet wide, and I can see that looks like it's about three feet wide. And if I had this piece of paper on my table desk, we could use the architectural scale. We could figure it out exactly, and we'll show you that later, later on here. So I wouldn't say this is double. I would say that's six feet. So let's just make a six foot glazing right there, three feet over from that position. Okay. So how do we do that? We need to start, we need a start point. So I said it's going to be three feet over and then six feet from there is our, is our opening for our glazing. So we click the this and we're going to go three feet, enter, click him. And there I got three feet. And now I want to do six feet. So six feet, enter. I'm going to go from there to there, six feet. So there's my glazing. Now, if I left it like that, you can't really tell it's glazing. So what we like, I like to do is let's let's make it look realistic, make it look like the glazing would actually look. If you look at the drawing here, if I zoom in a bit, you, might get a little, you can see what that looks like. We've got a lot, piece here, a piece here, a piece at the end, a piece at the end. So we're going to do that now. Okay, and I keep opening that, sorry. I'm going to make something from here to here, two inches. So I'm going to offset two inches and there and there and now I'm going to come in here and click here and click here so now I've got a two inch piece here a two inch piece here and a two inch piece here and I'm going to delete some of the lines or trim some of the lines because they're a lot we don't need so let's click the trim tool let's go ahead and click the trim tool we're going to click that and we're going to click that and we're going to click this and click this. I think you can click everything you want. Just yeah. You know. Okay. And now we're gonna go enter. And let's delete stuff we don't need. So we don't need him. We don't need him. Oh no 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 no. Sorry. Back up. Back up. Oh. Made a mistake. I don't want to delete these things. I just want to delete the ends. That's the beauty of undo. Trim. Trim command. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Him, 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 trim it. I want to trim off this guy right here. Oh, not working for me, is it? Trim. Him, him, enter. And now let's get rid of that guy, that guy, that guy. All right, so now we have our outside pieces of, of, of the window. We have the glazing running through the center. Now, if you look at the drawing here, you'll see this bar running down the center. So it's a two, it's a, it's a swing open or swing in, I guess swing open window two. Um, so let's look at doing that. So what I'm gonna do there is I wanna put a piece down here. And if you look at the this, you'll see, you see that right there? We're gonna do the same thing. So you, the person looking at this knows, oh, those are opening windows, okay? So line tool. We're going to go midpoint up like so, point down like so, whoops. And now we're going to offset it and it's a two inch piece wide. So we're going to go one inch offset, right? And click that. One inch. All right, so now I'm going to hit the escape key, get out of that command. I'm going to click trim and come in and select this, 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 enter. And I'm going to come in and delete the stuff we don't need. We don't need him or him or him. This one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, we don't need this little guy in here. Or this one, this one, this one, and we're going to come back and we're just going to hit the escape key now and we're going to delete this construction lines that we started with. Enter. So now you can see there's our glazing. And again, it's all on one layer. I might at some point have 
taken this and, and changed the color of that or, or moved this to a different layer, you can do that too so that all your glazings are in a different layer. I don't see the need to do that particular thing right now. We're just doing the outer wall. So that's how it, that's how you can see that's a very simple drawing, very simple, um, but this is how it's done. And you can see that, you know, this is showing our outer walls. So what I'd like you to do now as the student is to continue. I won't continue here. Later on, we'll draw this front piece here. I want you to go put this glazing in here. There's a glazing in the bathroom or the WC. There's a glazing over here and there's another six foot glazing here, what appears to be a six foot glazing here and a six foot glazing here. This one here looks like it's about half, I would say three foot glazing. And this one here is just a small one for ventilation. Uh, you can see it too. I would say that's about half that size, just looking at the scale. So maybe that's a one and a half foot glazing. Okay, so go ahead. So I'd like by the next video, before you start the next video, I'd like to see glazing here, glazing here, glazing here, glazing here. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll work on putting the hatch. You'll notice this wall is, is solid. Uh, as a, Rather than doing the solid wall, I'm going to do hatching, which means little lines. I'm going to show you how to do that next.